What up, guys? Your boy DK Drama, Bird Gang Sports. You already know what we here for. You know what we came to do, baby. We got a lot to discuss, man. And real quick, man, Um, shout out to Sean Smith. Shout out to Sean Smith. You know, Sean Smith is, uh, he can't really take it right now, y'all. He, he, he doing a lot of trolling. I haven't seen the man since they got knocked off. Since we knocked them off, uh, not us, since Carson Wentz knocked the Dallas Cowboys out of the contention for the playoffs. I haven't really seen the guys, you know, trolling as much. But, you know, it's, it's all good. It's all good, man. But I really just came on here, you know, give guys, you know, who I think we should grab, you know. It's a lot of speculation. It's a lot of talk. I really do think uh, C.D. Lamb, no, nah, not, not, more so not C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb will probably be my last pick, even though he would like to come to the Eagles. We all know he would like to come to the Eagles. He put that out uh, earlier this year that, you know, the Eagle fans, instead of calling him C.D. Lamb, will be calling him C.D. Goat next season, which is a good thing if we do get him. But, like, Jerry Judy, man, Jerry Judy, that's <sighs> Henry Ruggs. And Jerry Judy should be our number one go-to picks for the receiver position just because of the simple fact that I like the way that um, Henry Ruggs progressed in his last three seasons. The last three years, it was uh, a, a progression all the way around the table. Like, he improved all the way around the table. And it shows in his statistics that uh, – what, 2016, I believe, or 17, I believe, he uh, he had, what, 800, 800 yards, and then it moved up to, I think, 1,000 or 1,100, and then last season it was 1,300 uh, receiving yards. Now, that is nothing but progression. Now, when you, 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 you progressing like that, it's just showing that, you know, you're making improvements, you're learning the speed of the game, and... and you know, with the guys you're playing against and the guys that's around you, you 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 you're adapting very fast, and that's pretty much what we need. We need somebody who can adapt, who can be a chameleon. You know, especially in the NFL, being that this game is so much faster, and everybody in this game is so much stronger and smarter. A lot of these guys are smarter. A lot of these guys dedicate their life to football now. You know, when you're in college, you do it for the fun of it, but. Like I said, Henry Ruggs and Jerry Judy is another. Jerry Judy is another fan favorite from a lot of teams. So I do believe that they look the same. If I'm not mistaken, I think last season Jerry Judy ended up coming away with more yards. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken. But I think um, I think I'm right about that. It's a lot, you know, you read a lot and you, you, you forget a lot. It's a lot to go on. You need to read and then go straight to the camera, man. You need to cam up as soon as you're getting all your information. Or you you have situations like this. But in my opinion, I do think Jerry Judy is probably going to be better than Ruggs, man. Like, it's just hard to tell what a guy really, really is going to be once he gets into the NFL. Because the NFL is so funny like that. Like, like I said, it's a different change of pace. Uh, you're playing against a lot of guys that dedicate their life and all of their time to football. So they're a lot smarter. Like, they're not falling for a lot of things. Like Just like at the quarterback position, if you come out of college, uh, some of these guys will never see the NFL you're playing against. So defenders you know, sometimes tend to leave a lot bigger open windows for quarterbacks to throw passes in college. But when you come to the NFL – those windows become very, very tight because of the simple fact that the guys are smarter, the game is much more faster than what it is in college. But let's just get right on to it, man. Like, Henry Ruggs or Jay Judy? C.D. Lamb will probably be my last resort between those two guys. Not saying that he's, like, horrible, but, like, they all three are so good that it's kind of hard to... It's really hard to really say who is... Better than who? We'll we'll find out. Just like we thought uh, J.J. Ortega was going to be ready and do what he do. But, you know, J.J. didn't really do too much. You know, it is what it is. Uh, hopefully he can have a better season this year. But I do think that if we get a, a young stud star receiver, along with having a young stud running back in Miles Sanders, I do think that 
The Eagles going to look very good this year. Now, we know we had a lot. Uh, every team in the division besides us had coaching changes or uh, um, head coaching changes. Let me let me correct that. They had head coaching changes. So, every team that's that's out there that you see right now in the NFC, they switched things up. We didn't. We kept the same. We just needed more pieces for Carson Wentz, the same quarterback that you know won the division with all of his star receivers out of the game. What do you possibly think that he is going to do when he gets that, that man with those heavy hands that can grip that ball under contention, contestants, uh, everything, like under all of that, like any circumstance, he going to get it or he going to get open just as fast as Deshaun Jackson. Like, what do you think Carson Wentz going to do with a quarterback like that? I want to know what y'all think. And Sean Smith, yes, man, come and holler at me on this video because we all know that y'all Dallas fans, no matter what, y'all are tight about not winning the division. And, and on top of that, y'all are tight about still not making the playoffs. Like, y'all still didn't make the playoffs. Like, I mean, at the very least, y'all won the division last year, and we still made the playoffs. Guys, come on, man. Come on, man. Like, what, what, are, you, what are we even arguing about? Y'all didn't even make the playoffs. He talking about... Oh, but uh oh, Wentz only play eleven. So who cares about what Wentz played? The Philadelphia Eagles are NFC East champions, bro. Point blank, period. The Eagles played the whole playoff game. I'm not gonna say because one man went out. I don't say that when Alshon went out or when Deshaun went out. But you said when Carson go out. Who gives a fuck, man? Like we have proved time and time again, year in and year out. Of course, a, a great quarterback. Does matter, but in the Eagles case with Doug Peterson behind him, man, like we make do with a lot, man. Point blank. We make do with a lot with Doug Peterson, man. Like, that's just what it is, man. Like, but anyways, man, y'all let me know down below in the comments. And if you're new to my channel, man, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to this video, man, because we're trying to get it booming. Booming, booming. That's what we're trying to do. I ain't, I don't want to be the biggest YouTuber out here, but I do, you know, I would like to see the channel at least growing, and I, I would like to see a lot of y'all interacting and what's going on on here, man. And I would like to see exactly what I'm talking about. I would like y'all opinions the same, because like I said, at the end of the day, this is just my opinion. So I want to hear what everybody really kind of think, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah. Let me know, though, man. Let me know, because I, I want to hear what y'all think. This your boy, DK Drama, Bird Gang Sports, and I'm out.